Linda Clifford is the disco diva who's got some roots right here in Chicago. She hit the big time 35 years ago with her dance cover, If My Friends, okay, maybe five years ago. Oh. Okay, that's better. Uh, if My Friends Could See Me Now. So let's take a look. Okay, Linda and I are sitting here going like this. I yeah. remember 1978 and that thing being at number one for yes. a very, very long time. What is up with the robot spaceman in the back of that video? I have no idea. You didn't yeah, know? No, I had no idea that he was even back there. I didn't know that Get those people, out. No, they surprised me. They said, okay, we want you here, we want you there, and they started shooting. <laughs> Next thing I know, these creatures are coming from all angles and they're dancing around me. And I thought, whoa, oh what my is this? God, that is hysterical. I, know, I thought, like, for sure there had to be a story on that no, when I was watching it this morning. It's still funny to this day. Every time I see it, I, I crack up. Oh my God. Well, thank you so much for coming well, in. Thanks it's for so having good to see me. you. You live in Chicago now, too? Or I you stay, do. You're still here. I'm still, you're here. still here. This is home for me. Okay. We have to talk about that song because you were really reluctant to make that song into kind of a, a disco hit. You didn't want to remake it, right? I what happened? I did not. You know what, it's so funny, in, way back in the day, and I, I don't want to go back to, I was four. Uh-huh, right. You know, <laughs> um, and I was actually, I worked with uh, Shirley MacLaine on that film, mm -hmm. Sweet Charity, which is where the song is from. And so, you know, the song to me, you know, held right. this whole Broadway-themed musical and so they came to me and they said, we want you to record If My Friends Could See Me Now. And I was like, no way, no. that's sacrilege. <laughs> I'm not doing it. And then I heard it. Right. They went ahead and they did the track. And I heard it and I said, oh, I'm doing that song. Yeah. Isn't that, that, that is my song. I'll, right, robot and all. Robot you know? and all, a exactly. Lot, a lot of artists talk about that. They'll say the one song they were reluctant, reluctant to do to, right. or they were forced or they hated it at the beginning turned out to be one of the biggest the, of their careers. Absolutely. It happens time and time again. We have people that yeah. we've talked to. So many. Let's talk about, too, you racked up a lot of hits throughout the 70s and 80s. I love that you were also crossover genre. Uh, yes. I've been in radio 100 years, and now things are very segmented. But yes, you were able to cross yes. over pop and uh, R&B and different genres. Let's talk about the song uh, Red Light yes. from the Fame soundtrack. Uh, you may or not, may not remember this. Um, I loved this. This is when, oh, I forgot the guy's name. What's his name when he was trying? Oh, when he was auditioning, he was there to help Leroy, his, Leroy. Leroy was helping okay. his girlfriend audition. It was her audition and he just stole the show. Right. And your song, <laughs> Red Light, was used during the movie. You were at the premiere and this is one of my favorite stories about Linda Clifford and that you gave birth. Right I, after that, were you sitting there pregnant at the I premiere? I was what pregnant. Happened? I w you know, when I went in to record the song, I was um, actually about seven months pregnant. Uh -huh. And uh, they said, are you going to be able to hit these notes? And, you know, I said, bring it. Right. You know, this gives me more power. <laughs> right. <laughs> I am woman, hear me roar. So, you know, we did the song. And then, yes, at the premiere, you know, I was like, okay, is it time yet? I mean, can I go? And sure enough. But then you went right into labor right, right into after labor. That, that, that was it. That kicked me right in. That is so funny. Yes. Okay, you have had a long, lustrous career. You've met a lot of different people. We have some photos of Linda just so oh. we can check these out. Uh, here you are back in the day with Barry oh. Gibb. Is he as sweet and adorable as I, as I make him out? He is. I was so, you know, I stood there and I thought, oh my God, I'm standing next to you. You did. Game. I did. Oh I was God. like, don't move. Just pretend that you do this every day. And I love that you're right in his chest, <laughs> yeah, chest right. hair and his chest medallion. Chest hair, right? <laughs> okay, and here you are. You've become really good friends um, with Joan Rivers, right? Exactly, yes. In fact, lately I've been opening shows for Joan. Uh, around the country, uh, different areas. So she and I are kind of close, and you know, she calls me, and and I just go out and sing a few songs and get yeah. the get the crowd going, and then she comes out and does her thing. Oh She's God. amazing. She is. I she's actually one of my favorites. You have to really dig into Joan to know how incredibly smart that woman she is. She is unbelievable. Right. I mean, just a workaholic, just always going. Yeah. Always going. Okay, you're always going to. We have to say that you have an event that's coming up. It's called One Night Stand. It's yes. at the uh, Park West, September 15th. And wh what's it going to be like? Because the promo is hysterical. Like, this there's just is naked gonna... guys. No. What is, I don't know what you're doing. Well, they're not completely naked. Let's, okay. They're kind of naked. Well, not naked. in the photos yet. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, yet. that comes later. Right. But this this event is uh, actually it's like a gala. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a gala party, dance party type thing without the food. Okay. So there's no food. There's going to be dancing. There's going to be fun. There's going to be just tons of surprises for everyone. And uh, I'm going to be there with my live band, background singers, all sorts of. <laughs> fun crazy stuff going on around us it is going to be a blast awesome and it is going to be a fundraiser for chicago house which is a fantastic yeah. organization that's been around since um i believe 1985 and they're they're incredible so right. people should be made aware of them and all the great things that they yeah, do yeah helping with aids patients and, and all kinds of things in the chicago area absolutely so you have got to go today check out um, my brand new friend i love you linda clifford thank uh, you one night stand again log on to chicagohouse.org for right. more information yes. and i hope you'll come back and maybe perform one day we kind of fun a gene and i could be your robot and yeah, your you whatever that other the, guy the, was the, <laughs> The spaceman and the robot. We, that would be and great. we have costumes, so oh, we could probably do that. <laughs>